Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is single phase full controlled bridge converter with RL load. Before this, I have created the video related to same thing, but it was register load. Only R load was there. This is RL load. So there are major changes compared to the uh, earlier circuit, which we studied for only register load. So this is the circuit diagram for RL load. Now, see, how to remember it. In the earlier session, when we studied single phase fully controlled bridge converter with R load or for R load, we have used only register over here. So major changes instead of register, we are using register and inductor. Now, as far as this session is concerned, the last part of this session is most important, which is. The same heading single phase fully controlled bridge converter with RL load and discuss or write explanation of inversion and rectification mode. That is the most important that we will discuss at the end of this session. So this is the corresponding circuit diagram. We have already discussed in the earlier video. This type of configuration is called bridge configuration where we are using four SCRs, SCR number one, two, three and four. This RL acts as a load across which we are supposed to measure the output voltage V0. Output voltage is also denoted as VL. The corresponding current is IL. Now, input voltage. This is the standard waveform of input voltage. We know the readings 0, pi, 2 pi and so on. And after 2 pi, the uh, cycle repeats. VM is the maximum value of input voltage. Now, during the positive half cycle, this terminal will be plus, this will be minus. At the input side, uh, we are applying single phase AC supply. So during positive half cycle means I'm talking about this cycle from 0 to pi. This polarity will be plus, this will be minus, due to which this SCR1 will be forward biased. They could both simple, a positive yaha pe connected, hai. so SCR1 will be forward biased, whereas SCR4 will be uh, reverse biased. Same way, the current when during positive half cycle will flow like this through SCR1 since it is forward biased, then through this load and through SCR3 because this terminal, cathode terminal of SCR3 is connected to negative uh, of uh, transformer and positive is connected through load to the positive of the transformer. So current will flow like this. So this is the flow of current during positive half cycle. Now during positive half cycle, we know the basic thing. Whenever you are applying a pulse to the gate terminal of SCR, then SCRs will be uh, triggered. And after that, only after applying the gate pulse, the SCR corresponding SCRs will start conducting. So during positive half cycle, SCR1 and SCR3 will start conducting from alpha to pi because we are going to apply the gate pulse at an firing angle alpha. Now, do remember the basic things. This is inductive load. I have already cleared all the concepts related to inductive load in the previous videos. Please do watch those videos. Once again, I will quickly brush up the things. Whenever there is an inductor which is connected at the load, inductor has a property to oppose the change. That means, let's say, look, here, pi ke baad, negative half cycle start ho hai. So due to presence of inductor, inductor will oppose uh, this change. Or you can well remember it like this. Inductor is a storage device. So whenever uh, this SCR1 and 3 was uh, in conduction mode, inductor started to store the energy. Whenever the cycle changes, negative half cycle starts, then inductor returns back stored energy to the source this concept we have already uh, discussed in earlier videos so this conduction will continue for certain time period after certain time period that means let us say from pi to pi plus alpha inductor will dissipate all the stored energy and this conduction of scr1 and 3 will be stopped now during negative half cycle this terminal will be negative this will be positive so Due to this negative terminal, uh, we know that SCR1 will be will not be forward biased. So due to this negative terminal, SCR4 will be forward biased, will start conducting and look at this connection. It is rather more simple. This plus is connected here to the anode of SCR2. So during positive half cycle, the flow of current will be like this through SCR2, then through load RL 
like this along the same direction as it was in uh, earlier positive half cycle and then through SCR4 and back to the transformer. So during negative half cycle SCR2 and SCR4 will start conducting again the same phenomena that means the conduction will actually start from a uh, value pi plus alpha it should be till 2 pi ideally but due to inductive case it will continue till 2 pi plus alpha reason we have already discussed अब देखो इससे पहले के जो वेबफॉर्म्स थे ओनली फॉर आर लोड व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड यहां पे ये पल्स नहीं था इट वाज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन बिकॉज़ दिस कंडक्शन वाज स्टिल ओनली पाई सेम वे इन द अर्लियर केस दिस कंडक्शन वाज स्टिल ओनली टू पाई ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट दिस कंडक्शन कंटीन्यूअस अप टू सर्टेन टाइम पीरियड एज़ फार एज़ द लोड करंट आउटपुट करंट इज कंसर्न दिस इज आईएल और समटाइम्स नोटेशन मे बी आई जीरो सी ड्यूरिंग दिस a cycle whenever a positive half cycle the current goes on increasing like this whenever the conduction continues from pi to pi plus alpha there will be reduction in the load current again uh, second pair of SCRs that is SCR2 and 4 will start conducting again the current rises till this value and again from pi to 2 pi plus alpha it will reduce likewise the current will repeat since this cycle repeats every waveform will repeat so this is about the circuit diagram waveforms and uh, working of single phase fully controlled bridge converter with RL load next part is analysis rather performance of this circuit first is average value of at the output side we know the standard formula. Standard formula is VDC is 1 by pi integration Vm sin theta d theta. Actually the formula is uh, inside the integration V0 d theta. One important thing which we have already discussed in earlier videos. Is axis pe hum log omega t lik rahe. So you may replace theta by omega t. Agar theta ke badle mein omega t put karo ga to yaha d theta ke badle mein d omega t aega. That is the only change. Now Whatever required formulae are there, I have made a list. First is integration of sine theta is minus cos theta. Second, cos of pi plus alpha is minus cos alpha. Now let us simplify this equation. So Vm is constant, can be taken outside the integration. So it becomes Vm upon pi integration alpha to pi plus alpha sine theta d theta. One important thing. See, there are so many derivations in this unit. याद कैसे रखना है? Logically याद रखना है। Look at this waveform. During positive half cycle, the conduction is from alpha to pi plus alpha. जो reading से मैंने highlight किया है। This is because the conduction continues from pi to pi plus alpha due to inductor action. This we have already discussed. So in this case, limits are alpha to pi plus alpha. अगर conduction जैसे हम लोगों ने R load में learn किया है, अगर conduction pi तक होता है तो हम लोग लिखेंगे लिमिट्स अल्फा टू पाई इन दिस केस लिमिट्स आर अल्फा टू पाई प्लस अल्फा नाउ वी हैव द फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन व्हिच इज माइनस कॉस थीटा सो आई विल सिंपली राइट इट इट एज वीएम अपॉन पाई दिस इज माइनस कॉस थीटा लिमिट्स आर अल्फा टू पाई प्लस अल्फा लेट अस पुट द लिमिट्स सो इट इज वीएम अपॉन पाई माइनस कॉस पाई प्लस अल्फा माइनस while putting the lower limit, we have to put a minus sign over here. But already minus sign is there. Minus minus become plus. Plus lower limit is cos alpha. Now make use of the identity. Cos of pi plus alpha is minus cos alpha. Already minus sign is there. So this term becomes plus. So simply I can write Vm upon pi. This is cos alpha. This term is minus cos alpha. Minus minus become plus. So it becomes cos alpha. Second term remains as it is. That is this cos alpha. So cos alpha plus cos alpha is 2 cos alpha. So final equation of VDC or V average can be written as 2 Vm upon pi cos alpha. Actually it is cos alpha plus cos alpha 2 cos alpha but 2 I have taken it outside uh, this equation. So this is the final equation to calculate the average output voltage. Next is calculation of uh, RMS value. This is the second uh, parameter for analysis of the given circuit. We have this standard formula. We already discussed this formula in all earlier videos. Formula is 1 by pi integration. In this case, integration we have discussed. It will be from alpha to pi plus alpha. 
vm square sin square theta d theta actual formula is 1 by pi inside the integration v0 square and we know that v0 is vm sin theta so it is vm square sin square theta d theta ye square root ke andar hoga kyunki rms value but we are writing it like this bracket raised to 1 half as if it is a square root now let us simplify this equation this vm square is constant can be taken outside the integ integration sign so this equation can be written as v rms is equals to vm square upon pi integration alpha 2 pi plus alpha sin square theta d theta we have to make use of standard identity to solve this integration sin square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 ye jo 2 hai ye bahar le lenge so i will simply write it as vm square upon 2 pi inside the integration alpha 2 pi plus alpha 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta let us separate out the terms it can be written as vm square upon 2 pi first integration limits are same alpha 2 pi plus alpha uh, 1 d theta minus second integration alpha 2 pi plus alpha cos 2 theta d theta let us separately simplify this uh, integrations <coughs> for first part it is integration of d theta will be theta limits are alpha 2 pi plus alpha so this is pi plus alpha minus alpha so this becomes pi upper limit minus lower limit so answer of first integration is pi about second integration cos 2 theta we know that integration of cos theta is sin theta so this is sin 2 theta upon 2 limits are alpha 2 pi plus alpha let us put the limit so this becomes sin 2 pi plus 2 alpha minus sin 2 alpha upon 2 now do remember the basic thing sin of 2 plus 2 pi plus any angle let us say sin of 2 pi plus 5 5 can be anything in this wall is same as sin so this term this term will be same as sin 2 alpha so now it's simple sin 2 alpha minus sin 2 alpha become 0 so this answer of second integration is 0 and this uh, this this you should write it in bracket uh, so I have forgotten to mention the bracket so it is bracket raised to one half same thing bracket raised to one half here also we need to uh, put the power that is bracket raised to one half but we discuss this integration become zero integration of uh, answer of first integration is pi so this equation can be written as uh, this I will make a curly bracket so this entire bracket raised to one half so this becomes vm square upon 2 pi we discussed this answer is 0 answer of first part is pi into pi bracket raised to one half this pi pi gets cancelled so it is vm square upon 2 bracket raised to one half so simply it is vm upon root 2 this is the value of rms output voltage next an important part two quadrant operation or rectifying mode and inversion mode from the exam point of view you may expect the question like this explain rectifying and inversion operation of single phase fully controlled bridge converter with rl load it is pretty simple operation we already discussed the waveforms i have made slight changes this is this is the input uh, waveform of input voltage applied at the uh, uh, circuit first case we will be considering different cases first case alpha less than 90 degree this is the same diagram which we already studied in which we had already shown alpha is less than 90 degree Deekho, yaha pe zero hai, yaha pe pi hai, so somewhere there will be pi by 2 and as shown in this diagram alpha is less than pi by 2 then uh, this is the positive half cycle this is the negative half cycle again positive half cycle negative half cycle and so on 
I'm not talking about positive and negative half cycle of input voltage. I'm talking about positive and negative half cycle of output voltage. So as you can see from this diagram, positive area of positive cycle is more than area of negative cycle. This is positive cycle. Its area is more compared to this negative cycle. In this case, the operation will be like this. The energy will be transferred from source to the load. As I yaad rakhna hai, positive ka area jada hai compared to negative case. Then transfer will be from source to load. And we know that source that is supply is AC. Load that is uh, whatever you are connecting at the output is DC. So it is AC to DC conversion. This is called rectification mode. So during the operation alpha less than 90 degree the transformation will be from source to load and it is called rectification mode or rectification operation second case alpha is equals to 90 degree this is the corresponding waveform just i am going to discuss here pi by 2 ka level hai matlab yahan pe at this point you are getting alpha is equals to pi by 2 to ye pehle part ka waveform hai to yahan tak aayega fir positive half cycle pi tak fir negative half cycle pi se leke 3 pi by 2 tak again the cycle repeats so very simple logic in this case the area of positive and negative half cycle of this output waveform every waveform is output waveform for different values of alpha so in this case when alpha is equal to 90 degree area of positive and negative waveform is same so average value will be zero third case when alpha is greater than 90 degree in this case जैसे यहां से स्टार्ट करते हैं ये ये पाई बाय 2 का लेवल है ये वैल्यू अल्फा का है सो कंडक्शन स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट एंड इट विल बी कंटिन्यू टिल पाई इट विल बी टिल पाई आइडियली बट ड्यू टू इंडक्टर इफेक्ट इट विल कंटिन्यू एंड इट विल बी अप टू पाई प्लस अल्फा वेयर अल्फा इज ग्रेटर देन 90 डिग्री एज वी कैन ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम दिस डायग्राम हियर द एरिया ऑफ नेगेटिव पल्स I am talking about output pulse is more compared to the area of positive part, area of positive portion. So this is called inversion operation in which the transfer of energy will be from load to the source. So this is in the second quadrant. This is first quadrant. This is second quadrant. Since area of negative cycle is more compared to the area of positive uh, cycle, average total uh, output value uh, will be negative <clears throat> because area of negative pulse is more so this is inversion operation that means transfer will be from load to source and this is the complete uh, uh, two quadrant operation so this is about rectifying and inversion mode uh, as far as this uh, fully controlled bridge converter with RL load is concerned so dear students that's it for today's session thank you thanks a lot for watching this video